Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is it, your reading for Tuesday, the 7th of March, 2023. This reading is for anyone who's guided to see it. It's not for anyone in particular. Bear with me, these cards are the hardest cards I have to shuffle. They're like shuffling bricks. They're so hard, but they are the best cards. They're so beautiful. And I love the messages we get off of them. They're just really hard to shuffle. So hang in there for just a sec. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about the, th this reading for Tuesday? And um, what date did I say it was? The 7th. Yeah, the 7th of March, 2023. One more shuffle. Okay, she's so sorry. I will shuffle a lot this way. All right, what do we need to know for this reading for anyone who's guided, whenever they're guided, for Tuesday the 7th of March, 2023, for anyone who's guided. Of course, this reading could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time you're guided. It's for anyone. It's not for any particular sign. Even if I call out zodiac signs, don't try to force them. They could have something to do with the timing and astrological influences that are happening right now. If you don't know that, it could get confusing. I'm going to hand them out to the people who are astrologers or that work with astrology, but please don't try to force it, okay? All right, the, during this reading, multiple messages could come out right till the very last second, multiple storylines as well, right to the very last second. So if you have to speed it up, do it through the shuffling, although messages could come out during shuffling as well. I don't want you guys to miss anything. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, for anyone who's guided, what do we need to know about it? What what do we need to focus on? What are the messages for anyone who's guided to see this reading whenever they're guided to see the reading? This reading could resonate now or later on down the line. If you don't know what this is, more reason to pay close attention. They're predictions. My readings are predictive, which means if you don't know what it is, it's because there are predictions coming out. So try to pay closer attention even so. Okay. All right. Just a few more cards here. These are just daily readings. We're using this beautiful Chakra Wisdom deck to start. And we're going to be using... Wow. Look at that. Really... Wow. Okay. So this is so nice. Wow. What great energy. All right. So it started out feeling a little rocky and then it just gets better and better. All right. Excellent. 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 Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 All right. All right. I know I kind of sounded like that was something crazy going <laughs> Yes, yes. There's so much good back here, like where you're building up to coming into this reading, but I can't get into all of it. So I'm going to start like right around here where you're feeling a lot better. You're healing from something. You're feeling happy again. You've gone within. You're feeling enlightened. You're starting to see that you're not really stuck in anything. See how she, she looks in the mirror and she's like, I feel stuck, but I'm not really stuck. She sees herself that way in the mirror, but the truth is she's not. All right, you're starting to feel a lot better. Nine of Wands reversed. I don't feel like I have to protect myself. I'm not the wounded warrior anymore. I'm free from whatever this is. Justice and the Three of Coins. Wow. You not only got this energy, you also got the chariot over here. Justice and the chariot. This is like big. It feels so good. There's some kind of transformation happening with the Four of Wands here, or it's about to happen. Uh, this could be a decision you're making with the lovers here. Now, this doesn't have to have anything to do with love. If it's not about love, it's just a decision you're making. But either way, the lovers for me is a decision card. So I feel as though this could be something happening around work, something getting balanced out, something really positive coming in. This could be a choice to, you know, not try to fight for an old position and choosing something new. Uh, this could have been old energy where you felt stuck and wounded and you're now feeling so much better. You could have changed jobs or you could be doing that. You have not only justice in the three of pentacles, you also have justice in the eight of pentacles. So this is very work related to me. And it does mean that you're leaving something behind with the eight of cups. But what you're leaving behind is the emotional stuff that made you feel like this at one time that you've now healed from you're just feeling so much better it's such great energy all right now if this hasn't happened yet remember predictions that my readings are predictive okay so as we come into this reading there's this change happening four of wands for me is never a bad car whether it's upside down whether it's right side up whether it's reversed doesn't matter to me see all the butterflies see the change coming i feel this is coming in for you i feel there's a change being made here this to me 
just says we haven't completed it yet, but it's coming. And there could have also been something that happened in a relationship here that you're not with anymore. But if you're not with this relationship anymore or this, um, it even could be a business partnership because of all the business cards you have here. This could be a business. This could be a partnership. This could be um, a change, just a change. I feel a change. Um, but whatever it is, it's leaving behind something that was disappointing anyway and moving towards something way better. I mean, this is such a great move, Justice and the Chariot. What a beautiful, beautiful energy. And I feel this is following the Four of Wands with this transformation of all those butterflies coming in. What a great energy. Five of Wands, we're not doing that anymore. No more drama, no more BS. And look how they're all looking at one person, like a bunch of bullies. We're not interested. Um, anyway, let's keep going spirit and you got um two eights here eight eight do you have any other eights eight eight no the chariot's a seven the nine yeah the eight of swords so you've got these eights this eight's a theme here eight 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 all right so eight 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 so if anybody is into angel numbers or anything about um you know the meaning of numbers please do post it down below we love to read this stuff in the comments and thank you guys for those of you that do it's so helpful anyway 888 it feels really good anyway let's keep moving guys spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided what do we need to know about it what are the messages this, this is a daily reading. It's for um, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. What did I say the date was? I think it was the 7th. Yep, for the 7th of March, uh, 2023, for anyone who's guided to see it. What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? 7th of March, 2023. Of course, it could resonate any day, week, month, year, any time you're guided. I believe any day we're guided to see a reading, whether it's by the title or for some other reading reason. We're supposed to see that reading then we see it and if it resonates so be it all right one more shuffle daily reading all right let's do it let's talk about the um four wands reverse what's going on and i and i'm gonna get the lovers reversed as well can we get both of them together four of wands reversed and the lovers what do we need to know here something's changing transforming uh this could be yeah look at you who empress all right so for you ladies especially now the empress is a, is a feminine card for me if you resonate feminine great if you don't that's fine no worries you could be dealing with this empress you could be dealing definitely with a libra or a cancer they're both coming through very strongly here um gemini's here as well can i get a little bit but this is libra for me this is libra for me and this is cancer for me and look at that this just flipped over when i was about ready to ask for that chariot this is full speed ahead this is really nice energy another six did i say oh we didn't have sixes we had eights okay beautiful energy chariot and the six of wands this is like some big win uh, this definitely feels like some kind of win. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. And forward, 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 forward. That's what we got going on here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, which is the way we're supposed to be moving always, right? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What about the Eight of Cups? What's important? So whatever's been draining you, the um, Knight of Pentacles reversed, but this also could be stagnancy for me. So this could have been whatever was holding you back, keeping you stuck, not anymore. Eight of Pentacles shows up again at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this is definitely work-related. And there definitely was something going on that was stressful. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords in reverse around this work situation. Five of Swords reverse. What? We're done with this. There is no more bullying, no more BS, no more trauma drama. No more, no more, no more. We're not doing it anymore. I don't know what's changed here, but there's definitely something changing very positive. Tell me about the Eight of Coins. What does it keep showing up for? This is the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Coins. What do we need to know about it? Nine of Cups Reverse. This is what you were so disappointed about, this work situation. And this could have went on for a while, but you, I feel like you're busting free. Nine of Pentacles says, I'm on my own now. I'm not going to be in that commune of whatever that group is like i almost feel like it's a group let me oh geez lost half the deck um tell me a little more about this eight of pentacles no tell me about the five of wands because even this look like i said it looks like a group ganging up on one person tell me about the devil felt out 
of the deck. This says to me, you were bound to this group, this these people, this situation. You did feel like you couldn't leave this. And maybe you couldn't, but you're the wounded warrior here. And whatever this was about, you're getting some kind of, I mean, whoo. Justice, the Chariot, and the Six of Wands. These are some of the very best cards in the tarot with the Empress. And I really feel good about this. And look at that Divine Intervention Archangel Michael here. Bringing in that Four of Wands. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bringing it in. Didn't I tell you it was coming? Archangel Michael, Divine Intervention, bringing you your Four of Wands. And I don't care if this is, if you're masculine or feminine, I feel like there's going to be a lot of good that comes in for you. Like this beautiful energy comes in behind that. We have the Magician, you're creating with the universe. This is so nice. Tell me about the Devil here. What do we need to know about it? Devil, on top of that Five of Wands, all that drama that's leaving. Tell me why something about the past look at that six of cups something about the past i want to look at the empress empress for most of you this is your energy for some of you this could be someone else's energy tell me about the empress please one card seven of swords someone who could have been lying sneaking cheating stealing let's find out tell me more about the seven of swords reversed Now, when we say the seven of, now the seven of swords is reversed, by the way, which means it's revealed. We know about it or we're about to know about it. Um, when we say lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, we don't mean they were doing all of those things, although they could have been. Uh, it just means there's something they were up to and it's getting revealed. Tell me about the empress one more time. The empress. At work again. This is something or someone at work nine of swords reversed eight of pentacles and i feel this person lied okay so listen if you were dealing with someone at work that could have been a boss or a boss type or a boss's wife or something like this uh, you know this could have been an issue but you still could be the empress who had some really nasty stuff go down for you okay so keep that in mind for some of you the empress is the person who did this and for some of you some of you you are the empress who had this done to you by a group at work all right, I hope this makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards and let you guys ride because we're going to move on to, I'm going right down the line here with these dailies as quickly as I can um, so that uh, I can get this done because I have a busy, busy schedule this week. My schedule is like ridiculous. Um, if anybody's looking for a personal reading and you guys reach out to me, do not panic if you don't hear from me for like up to... I'm always, I always get back to people within 48 hours, but don't panic if it takes me 48 hours to get back to you this week. I will, you know, if you've paid for your reading and you'd fill, you filled out your forms, I already know you're getting a reading. So no worries. I will reach out to you by email as soon as I get a chance. Like I said, super duper busy week this week. All right. And your reading won't be till the following week. So no worries. Um, so it's not like I'm going to miss you or anything. I already schedule you on my end. When I get your whole packet, you're already scheduled on my end. All right. What do I need to know here? Please, angels. Communication. You could be getting some kind of communication here that is going to be important to the situation. Love. I don't think this was a love situation, although it could be. But I think you're going to feel really happy about this. Like your heart chakra is going to bust open when you get this. It might come in really suddenly because you have the spontaneity card. You're going to have such a light heart. I'm telling you, the love and the humor and the spontaneity show me your heart chakra is going to be popping open with joy from whatever this is and understanding understanding says for me that you're going to get this communication might clear something up for you and make you understand it more this is also one of my karma cards okay so this also says to me understand the lesson in what you went through in the past because that's a big part of the happiness and joy that you'll have in the future okay i hope that makes sense look at this delight is right on top i kid you not sitting right at the top of that bowl like i was all here by itself just sitting there the only thing i could see delight wow really cool i do think delight humor joy all these great cards are coming through to show you how happy and light the next chapter is going to be 
something really nice is happening for you. This is forward movement. This is something that was wrong or upsetting or hurtful being made right. That's what this feels like to me. One way or another, whether this is, you know, um, with a Libra, with a Cancer, you could have Cancer and Libra. These are very positive energies coming through Cancer and Libra. Um, you also have Capricorn here, which also, even though it's a devil, comes through positively if it's a person, okay? Um, also, you know, um, Gemini comes through in the negative here. Capricorn could be a negative here only because it's the devil and doesn't have to represent a Capricorn at all. Um, and like I said, for some of you, you could have had a Libra do something to you. But I have to be honest, Libra looks so good here because of the Justice card and the Empress card. So it might not be a Libra. It could be a Taurus. It could be anybody. Any, it could be anybody. This could be a mother figure, a boss, an ex-wife, a baby mama. It could be anybody. You could be this person who went through this at a job or at a work situation with toxic people or somebody very difficult or even a Capricorn or a group. Okay? So keep this in mind. This could be anybody, even though I'm giving you these... Uh, even though I'm saying these um, signs doesn't have to mean anything to you. This is something you're healing from. You're going to experience a lot of happiness and joy after going through something very difficult, very work-related or business-related or a company you dealt with or something. This has something to do with work, business, or a company you dealt with. And you don't have to have worked for them. For me, um, sometimes work cards come out if we're dealing with a company in business. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Anyway, guys do enjoy the reading. Please don't forget your monthlies came out the other day. Your weeklies just came out and up in the left corner, I've probably attached your finance reading and, um, what else? Oh, right above you is the little witch. If you'd like to subscribe, we'd love to have you on board. We do, uh, we put out readings every single day on this channel. If you click on that witch, you will also be able to click the bell for the notifications. And if you click all, you'll get notifications from my channel. You have to click all though. All right. Okay. Thanks guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.